Welcome to our first webinar with Dr. Harper. Um, I'm Jolie McDonough with Diversified Biological, and Dr. Harper is going to be speaking about how you can implement and the importance of using the biological allograft stem cells in your practice and updated information about that. Um, today, on, this is the first time we're using this particular platform. So I will actually be hosting it and watching for the questions that you might have. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go for about 35 minutes. And during that time, Dr. Harper is going to be speaking and he's going to be using his PowerPoint there. But go ahead and type in your questions in the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. I'll watch for those and then we'll take the last 10 minutes of the webinar and we'll answer those questions if we haven't already answered those. And if we don't get to all of the questions, I'm sure we'll be able to put out some sort of communication. We have your email addresses. So Dr. Harper, why don't you go ahead and take it away? Well, hello, I'm Dr. Dennis Harper from Orofino, Idaho. And I wanna welcome you to Why Harper Restoration System. <clears throat> and as Jolene said, the questions, we will start to get your interest so we can get answers for you. I'll talk a little bit about myself here. I've trained about 300 offices in use of IV, ozone, and injections. My original start in this adventure of injections started with ozone with Dr. Frank Schallenberger. I teach 10 to 20 classes a year on ozone, stem cells, and PEMF, pulse electromagnetic frequency. Research and using new products and IVs and injections. I've done about 25,000 injections in the office and around the country, 38 years in practice. And my claim to fame is I won the Idaho State Elk Bugling Championship in uh, eight years ago. Been a doctor of chiropractic since 1980. I did a naturopathic online degree in 2009, which naturopaths are not licensed in the state of Idaho, but under our chiropractic license, we could do injections and IV work. I was 12 years on the Idaho State Board of Examiners, past board member of our trade association, been on numerous other different board, associate instructor of Western States. I filled in as a senator in the state of Idaho and um, did a lot of work with NRCME, which is test writing committees for DOT physicals. My ozone background comes from past chairman of the Ozone uh, Society, Ozone UBI therapy certifications, Clean Heart Academy certifications. I instructed with Dr. Frank Schallenberger for a year on injectables, and again, in practice for a lot of years. And I was on ACAM's board, education and marketing committees in the past. So, I mean, it's making a little bit of noise. Is there a reason why I'd be making noise? It could be music behind you at the hotel. No, no, it's kind of a rattle. Okay. It's gone now. All right. Okay, so what, what do I need to learn to be successful? And that's what tonight's about. The next steps you're going to do. So I'm going to give you a, a breadth of things and an insight into some uh, situations that will give you some things to look at. And one thing look at to be successful is a healthy lifestyle. And I see a lot of doctors that come to class they themselves aren't healthy. So I'm going to tell you that's one reason why you want to take the class is learn how to be healthy if you're not. You need to have strong support from your staff and they need to be trained. Efficient exam procedures and office procedures. We do a lot of exam procedures. We teach you a four minute exam that will do 54 orthopedic neurological tests in less than four minutes. So you can screen your patients. You know what you're looking at. Patients need confirmation what's going on. So give them some good confirmation back and forth. And that's one thing we will help instruct you with. You need to open your mind to expanding your practice. I know we get really busy, and sometimes we don't look at expanding our practice. We just run circles and... I will help you look at what makes you money, what costs you money, and kind of looking at what makes sense in your practice. So we'll have some really good down-to-earth discussions in our small classes we do. The other thing is educating your patients. 
I do malpractice reviews as one of my side projects. And the biggest problem that happens is people sue doctors because doctors never communicate with their patients properly. So good communication, and that's extremely important. And learn what is possible and have fun in practice. And that's one thing I want to help you with. We have our advanced class, which is really about the doctors. We do a lot of advanced stuff. We have it in September. And it's really, literally, how to have fun and do some good advanced procedures. And again, the bottom line is take HRS training systems. Now, so we're going to briefly cover this here. Mesenchymal stem cell therapy. And this is some of the studies that have been going on in the U.S., and around the world, just to cover, cover a couple here. And here's a reason why you want to learn alternative health care. The cost attributed to arthritis in the United States in 2003 was $1.128 billion. And the amount of patients projected to be afflicted with degenerative joint disease, complications for RA or osteoarthritis by year 2016 is going to be 8 hundred billion dollars by 2016 and that number keeps going up so i think that in itself is a reason to do alternative health care our traditional health care system is spending a fortune on health care and it's not helping patients mscs we'll call them mesenchymal stem cells for this purpose in this part are found in a variety of tissues and have the ability to rapidly proliferate and de-differentiate to musculoskeletal lineages, including bone and cartilage. So keep that in mind as we go along. One thing about that we will teach you if you use an ozone with the injections with the stem cells is how simple it is. We have a, we have a uh, microwave cart, $85. We put our ozone machine, mount the oxygen tank to it. Our needles are there. It can be moved around easily done. So this is is a very cost effective and a friendly system to get into. So the trick that I'm going to tell you all is we got to look at the fun stuff in practice. If you hate getting up and going to your practice in the morning, let's change that for you. Let's look at things differently and learn how to do the fun stuff. These are conditions we're able to treat in our office between using stem cells and with using a biological allograft of stem cells. Endometriosis, pagets, Oshkosh slaughters, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, scar tissues, ganglion, cyst. This is where I started using ozone on initially and now have evolved more with those stem cell products. Now, I'm gonna tell you when you open the doors with alternative care, it's gonna give you a breath of looking at some easier, safer options to work with patients. More conditions we've successfully treated in the office with using ozone only even to start with. Trigger fingers, herniated discs, tendonitis. I'm not going to teach you about these tonight, but I'm just going to tell you what we've looked at to open your mind to think a little bit. Carpal tunnel, TMJ joints, suboccipital tendons, sinusitis, fracture sites. Uh, we've had fra- non-human fractures heal from injecting ozone into them. So, and open wounds and warts. And I'm going to show you a wart just for fun. This is some of the fun stuff. This lady had been 10 years with traditional therapy treating her wart. One injection with ozone. One week after the injection. Three weeks post-injection. Four weeks post-injection. That's with ozone, let alone using biological allograft of stem cells on top of that. Now, let me explain biological allograph. Biological allografts are something that we're going to call stem cells, and I won't cover all the particulars on the legalities of this right now. When you order a product from the lab, you will get a biological allograft. Now, a lot of people will call that a stem cell, but for our rest of our discussion, we're going to talk about biological allograft. And what you have to understand is tissue viabilities and why more cells or CCs not be better. You're going to hear salesmen tell you that you need to have three million ton, three million cells per CC or 10 million cells or 100 million. You know, it's what it is, is how viable that soup is that has the growth factors, the cytokines, and exosomes in it that stimulates your body to act like brand new. So let's talk about that a minute. 
Delivery systems are something we will teach you. Then there's several different delivery systems out there. Bone and fat cells, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. And let's reverse these two questions right there. At birth, one healthy stem cell will produce a billion healthy cells a month. By age 30, you basically will produce about 25 to 30,000 stem cells a month from one stem cell. By age 60, one of your stem cells will produce 200 healthy cells a month. So if you take bone and or fat out and you're 60 years old, you're producing 200 healthy cells a month. So why would you use bone or fat and produce that little amount of cells? Why don't you use something like the biological olive graph, which is from placenta tissues, to produce a billion healthy stem cells a month? In other words, it'll help your stem cells act like brand new. So you wanna activate those to act like brand new to regenerate. As we sit here during this meeting every minute, we're losing 300 million cells die every minute in our body. And the body takes seven years to rebuild all the cells in the body, five to seven years. So why not interject building a billion healthy cells a month and in five to seven years, regenerate your body back? Now, this is from the Aesthetic Surgery Journal and the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgeries Incorporated. And they talk about the term of stem cells or stem cell procedures should be reserved to describe those treatments or techniques where the collection, concentration, manipulation, and therapeutic action of the stem cell is primary goal rather than a passive result of treatment. So standard fat grafting procedures which do transfer some, some stem cells naturally present within the tissue should be described as a fat grafting procedure, not a stem cell procedure. So it's something to keep in mind. I know we get a lot of grief on that statement. There's a lot of literature backing that up. So just kind of look at that and realize we'll talk about this in class at length. And it's something you need to understand in detail to be able to focus on your patients. I hear so many comments from patients. I want stem cells. I want fat. I want bone. I want whatever I want. But if you're a 70 year old, you're taking bone out, you could literally be injecting dust back into your body. So keep that in mind age and viability. Now, the one thing that's exciting about using and stimulating your stem cells to act like brand new again, you can regenerate all of the parts of your body, heart, lungs, livers, intestines, all those things can regenerate. We've seen lots of regeneration with a lot of chronic degenerative disease conditions and seen them turn around. Dosages are still questionable, and we're adding and changing dosages, and it's an ongoing effort of learning. We're at a learning stage with this, so keep that in mind. But realize, you can virtually regenerate any tissues in the body. Now, we, I'm going to talk a little bit tonight about presetting the body for success, because a lot of people will buy a product from a salesman, and they say, oh, just do an IV or do an injection or, or do something without doing some important things. Clean eating getting rid of inflammatory foods, detoxifying the system. Get the garbage out so your body can act healthy. Glutathione enhances stem cell production and reproduction. Oxygen is important in the body. If you're not getting oxygen in the body and circulation, things will not regenerate. NSAIDs and steroids stop your own natural stem cells from being produced. So you've got to get patients off of NSAIDs and steroids. Intermittent fasting, actually will stimulate your body to generate healthy stem cells. Moderate exercise, walking, some basic cardiovascular disease. You gotta keep your body moving. And a stupid one, reduce stress. I know none of you are under stress, but it's really important to reduce stress. And here's the really important thing. Make a plan and follow it. And I think we all were looking at the point of doing a lot of things that basically tell us, let's make a plan and do this right. So we want to talk to the doctors about how they can make a plan. And I got Brian here tonight, and one of his jobs is to help you make plans. And if he doesn't talk to you tonight, he'll be talking to you soon. So that's important in your practice. Results in treating we've seen used in the biological gallo graphs. We've seen effects on Alzheimer's, anti-aging, cardiovascular disease, arthritis, MS, muscular dystrophy, COPD, asthma, kidney failures, Lyme. We've seen it used successfully in a lot of cases. 
acute low back care, rupture of herniated discs, we've seen it actually absorb tissues, recent strokes. We have some new procedures, Jomi, that you have not seen yet that we're going to be doing for strokes in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, NALS. And I'm going to share that with you later when we have class. Recent strokes, they're actually in uh, Salt Lake. They'll drill the brain and put stem cell allografts in the area of the stroke to regenerate neurons in the brain. COPD is amazing using biological allografts. Cardiovascular disease, wound care. We see wounds heal at a rapid rate, even externally placing products on wounds. Kidney failure with IVs, we've had numerous cases that have reversal of kidney failures and never had to have transplants or dialysis. Asthma has been an incidental thing we've seen, just all of a sudden people get better and didn't realize that asthma. Patients come in with different complaints, she come back and say, oh, my asthma is way better. Never knew you had asthma. So some fun benefits, degenerative conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and again, Alzheimer's, ALS, Parkinson's, dementia, spinal conditions, shoulders, hips, knees, joints, muscle tears, like in rotary cuff tears, respond wonderfully using biological autographs. So if you want to choose to live to be 139, educate your patients with realistic expectations, walk the talk. In other words, if you're going to recommend it to patients, you darn well better be doing it to yourself also. And if nothing else, start your family on the program if you want to live to be 139. So, Brian, you want to come and say, say a word for us here? You're good? Okay. So I'm going to complete this tonight. This is a short introduction. Those are the things we'll be learning in class. I invite you to come to class. Call Stevie. She can make and get you on the the uh, schedule or take and check our web website. We will be sending out short two minute videos starting next week. And we'll be videos coming out next week, two minute videos you'll be seeing and we will be just rocking the boat here. So we wanna help you as much as we can. And uh, I'm gonna stop with that right there, under Jolene, and I'm gonna turn it back to you for a second. Okay. So I don't have any questions in the question box right now. Um, so, we're going to call it a take, and this was an awesome evening, and it's going to get better all the time. Yes, absolutely. And if there's a particular topic, this is something um, that I'd like to ask, is if there's a particular topic that you want Dr. Harper to cover, we can always have him do one of these on a particular type uh, topic, or we can record a video and put it out to our group. So that's my question. That's my thought about you know this particular program. So and keep tuned. We're going to be coming out with ones weekly now. So there'll be numerous ones coming out now. We're all set up and ready to go. I'm going to educate you. Come to a class. Enjoy it. Okay. Thank you, Jolene. Well, with that, thank you, Dr. Harper. Thank you, Brian. And th thank you, um, Dr. Steve. Friday, August 24th. Um, we're good to go. Good. And we'll see you at the next class. Thank you. Bye now.